So dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss about one numerical on a full order state observer. Uh, we will see that how we can design a full order state observer for a given discrete time system uh, numerically. That is, our purpose is to understand the procedure of designing a full state uh, uh, full order state observer through a numerical problem, right? So the statement of the numerical is given on the screen, right? So we have to design a full order state observer uh, for the system which is given here, right? And all the required matrices are also given. And the desired loop, uh, desired closed loop holes of the system are also given, right? And we have to assume the sampling time T as 0.1 second, right? This is our assumption, or you can say this is given to us. Right, so now let us see that how we can uh, obtain uh, or we can design a full order state observer for this particular system. Okay, so the given system is, so let us see how we will solve it. So our purpose is, uh, purpose is to determine the matrix M, which is actually, having some elements like this. It is a column matrix, right? Uh, so our purpose is to find out this M such that this given system has its closed loopholes placed on these locations, right? So the desired closed loopholes are placed on these location right for this particular given system for the values of m right so the first thing that we do is the step one is we find out f minus m c matrix right so we'll find out this one uh, now, because number of states n is equal to 2, hence your matrix M is having two elements only, M1 and M2, right? So, F minus MC matrix will be, now what is uh, F matrix? F is 1, T, 0, 1. So, it is 1. T01 and then we have M, M is M1 and M2. Then C is also given to us, C is 1, 0. Right? So now we can substitute the value of uh, uh, T is equal to 0 0.1 second here. So if we do so, so your F matrix will become. It is since 1, T, uh, 0, 1. So if we do so, we'll get it as 1, 0, 0.1, 0, and 1. Similarly, the G matrix will be, it is T square by 2, so it will be 0 0.005 and T is 0 0.1, right? So, uh, okay, so we'll put it like that only. So we have 1, 0 0.1, 0 and 1, right? Minus, now this would be M1, M2 and 0 and 0. So we have multiplied these two matrices, right? So F minus MC would be 1 minus M1 and 0 0.1 minus 0 is 0 0.1. Then 0 minus M2 is minus M2 and 1 minus 0 is one. This is F minus M C, right? This is let us say equation number one. Now, the step two is form the closed loop characteristic equation of the given system, right? Now, how do we form the closed loop characteristic equation? 
So we have this Z I minus F minus M C is equal to zero. So this is the closed loop characteristic equation of the given system. So that is we need to find out Z I minus F. This is for example, equation number two, F minus M C. So it is your Z zero zero Z. Okay, so Z into I is this one and F minus MC is obtained in equation number one. So we will put it here. So this is, you know, put here one minus M one, 0 0.1 minus M two one, right? So this would be equal to Z minus one plus M one and zero this would be minus 0 0.1 and zero minus minus plus m2 and z minus one right so therefore the closed loop characteristic equation is now it is what do we have z minus one so it is Z minus one plus M one minus 0 0.1 M two Z minus one and it is equal to zero. So the determinant is, so we'll find out the determinant. So it is Z minus one plus M one Z minus one minus minus 0 0.1 into M two, right? So we'll open up this bracket. So it would be you know, Z square minus Z plus M one Z minus Z plus one minus M one plus 0 0.1 M two is equal to zero. So now we have uh, here, this is Z component, Z component, Z component. And these three are, you know, constants, right? So these are the constants and these are the coefficient of Z, right? So we will simplify this one. So here we have minus Z minus Z, so it would be minus 2Z. So we will write it like this, Z square minus 2Z plus M1Z minus, uh, sorry, plus 1 minus M1 plus 0 0.1 m2 is equal to 0. So we have z square uh, z square plus m1 minus 2z plus 1 minus m1 plus 0 0.1 m2 is equal to 0. So this is let us equation number 3. Now step 3 is form the desired closed loop characteristic equation. Right? The desired closed loop poles are so it is z12 it is 0. Point, now what are the closed loop poles let us see so 0. 0.875 angle plus minus 17.9 degrees 0.875 angle plus minus 17.9 degree now, when we open up this one, so it would be, uh, so, so on solving this, the desired closed loop characteristic equation is, so it is Z square minus 1.67 Z plus 0 0.77 is equal to 0. So this is the 
desired closed loop characteristic equation so it is let us say 4 now step 4 is determine the elements of matrix m okay so how will we determine so the elements of matrix m can be obtained by comparing the coefficients of equation 4 and 3 right and equation 3 that is equation 4 is the desired closed loop characteristic equation and equation 3 is the uh, closed loop characteristic equation actual closed loop characteristic equation of the given system hence so if we compare the two equations so now we know here that z square it has coefficient 1 so here also that z square has coefficient 1 So m one minus two is equal to this, and this is equal to zero point seven seven. So we have m one minus two; it is equal to minus one point six seven. So m one is equal to minus one point six seven plus two. So m one is equal to zero point three three. Right? So this is equal to zero point three three. Now this is. Uh, m1 right so similarly so we have the next coefficient we can co compare the constants here so 1 minus m1 plus 0.1 m2 is compared with 0.77 so 1 minus m1 plus 0.1 m2 is equal to 0.77 1 minus 0.33 Plus zero point one m two is equal to zero point seven seven, right? So it is zero point six seven plus zero point one m two is equal to zero point seven seven. So zero point one m two is equal to zero point seven seven minus zero point six seven. Zero point one m Two is equal to zero point one. M two is equal to one. Right. So, hence the required elements of matrix M R. So M is equal to zero point three three and One, okay. So uh, this is our solution. So this is what we are supposed to do. Find out as far as the full order state observer is concerned. So what did we do? We had an equation. We had the clo desired closed loop force of this equation, right? We simply obtain F minus M C matrix. Then Uh, the closed loop characteristic equation in step two. In step three, we obtain the desired closed loop characteristic equation from the desired closed loop poles given to us. Then in step four, we determine the required matrix elements of matrix M. Right. So this is how we solve a numerical uh, for the uh, full order state observer. Right. So I hope this is clear to you. so this is it for today's lecture and uh, thank you so much